Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. You know it. It's 3.25 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Let's get back to politics. Today is the perfect time for me to bring this up. There's a big story today in the news. Donald Trump came out on Truth Social and said he expects, this is, quote, quote, the link will be down below. Truth Social, Donald Trump, he expects to be arrested Tuesday, Donald Trump says saying this, he expects to be arrested Tuesday in New York. Uh, I'll, get on, I'll get into more of what he's, he's saying about it, about the Stormy Daniels, 130,000 or 230,000. There's discrepancy there. Paid to Stormy Daniels. I'm not going to get deep into that whole thing. You know, did this happen? Did this not happen? There's, there's a bigger picture here. Uh, I have really been... I've been worried. I've been seeing catastrophe for this country. I don't see a way out of this. I see our country headed for a big ditch, and I don't see any detour off of it. The end of 2024, I'll tell you guys why. It's been bothering me every day for since Trump, since I knew Trump was going to run again. Okay, I'm going to talk about that after I talk about what's going on in the news. So Trump comes on True Social and says this. Now Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying, this is what happens in communist countries. There's all people on the right. The links to all this will be down below. People on the right are saying, um, Ron DeSantis should get the National Guard and surround Mar-a-Lago so they can't take him out of there. You know, it's, the biggest thing, though, is Trump is, is calling for his supporters to protest. To, to Then the, the, uh, the district attorney in New York City is, is score, uh, building up security. They're worried about the people that work in that building. So it's, it's it, honestly, it's starting to look, look a little something like what happened uh, back in January. January, was it January 9th? January, was it January? I can't even remember now. January 9th, 2021. It's starting to look like that again. All right. Uh, so I'm going through the news. And then on Fox News and the, all the, on the right, they're not talking about this. They're talking about Joe Biden and China and China payments. So I started looking at that because I figured people are going to come out with this whataboutism. I don't see much to that story. I really don't. Um, about some kind of payments. I'll have the link to this so you can look it up yourself. If you're one of those people that say, well, what about Joe Biden? Why is he being arrested? Money from China. Uh, Hunter's, Hunter Biden's laptop. I'll have the link down below. I started reading some articles and there's nothing to it. You know, it, the, there's, there's no proof really at all. And this goes back to 2018 or something like that. And I, I just, you know what? If Joe Biden paid a hooker like Trump did, but bigger than that, you know what really bothers me is the Raffensperger situation. This whole Raffensperger, after Trump knew he lost, this is what, this is what scares me. The two things scare me. Him going on True Social already and calling for the country to come out in protest. So they're already talking about going to New York and blocking the, the district attorney, the court. Uh, they're talking is sending out the National Guard to Mar-a-Lago. The country's already in uproar. As soon as you know, if there's any hint that Trump's going to be in trouble, uproar. It's going to come important in a second. Um, going back to Raffensperger, this this scares me more than anything. Uh, hearing Donald, I heard, you know, hearing Donald Trump with my own ears, my own, you know, I read the Stormy Daniels book. I, I, I believe it. I do. I totally believe, you know, there's the, the hush payments, Cohen, all that. There's proof all over the place. It's, it's not like this whole Biden China thing. But Raffensperger, I heard Trump on the phone with my own ears saying, look, this is what I really need. I need you to find 11,000 votes. And then he's talking about, he, he tried to get other, uh, electors to, to remove the people's appointed electors in the states. He called three different states trying to get the election overturned, trying to throw out votes, trying to find votes, trying to bring in new electors. You know, all this stuff is just, it's crazy. And then you had Marjorie Taylor Greene saying, talking about Joe Biden, or talking about, you know, Trump being arrested and saying, this is what, oh, this is political persecution. This is what happens in communist countries. You know, and I heard Donald Trump with my own ears telling Raffensperger, look, just find 11,000 votes so I could take back Georgia. You know, he did this with three other states, you know, and he had lost at that point. He knew he lost. Okay, this is what scares me. 
He's running for president. Already. What do you th what's going to happen? Either he's going to win. And this nightmare is going to come back and run the country. And there, I've already seen flags that say uh, Trump 2024, the revenge tour. Ser seriously, that's like a, it's a bumper sticker. It's a flag. You know, I mean, so what, what does that mean? You know, does that mean that the country is going to move forward? You know, and well, or, or go back as some people want to, to making America great again. Or, or as people like me want to progress forward. No, it's all going to be about revenge and persecution. Okay, but what if he loses? What if he loses? Good chance that he's going to lose in 2024. What will happen then? Look what he's doing already. He, he's already, just, just Saturday, just yesterday, he got a true social, and he's telling people to protest. And it's, it's starting to throw the country in disarray already. Talking about sending the National Guard, you know, the country breaking apart. Florida, telling Ron DeSantis to send the National Guard. All the links to this will be down below, so you can read it yourselves. Already, and it, it, today it, the news just came out yesterday. Can you? What's going to happen by Tuesday? What's going to happen if Trump wins? What's going to happen if even if worse, if Trump loses? What do you think he's going to do? You think he's going to say, "Okay, I tried my best"? <laughs> oh no, man, no! There's no way he's going to do that. There's not. I, I don't believe that. I, I believe there is a zero possibility of him ever saying he lost. So what would happen then? The whole thing all over again. The whole thing with January 7th. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember that day right now. I'm not going to redo this video and go look that up and redo this video. This is what I see for 2024. This has been bothering me. He's in the election. He's running for president. And his true social post, the rant with all the capitals, you know, protest, witch hunt. Uh, he's saying he's the top runner. You know, can you believe this? They're going to arrest me, a former president. Uh, the top runner for president, the Republican president in uh, 2024, they're going to arrest me, witch hunt. He's already doing this, and it's already throwing the country in disarray. And it's just going to get worse for the next couple of days. What do you think is going to happen in 2024? Either he's going to become president again, and we're going to go on this revenge tour for four years or more. Because once this guy gets in office, I can't ever see him leaving. Or his kids leaving. I don't. You know, the, the, this guy believes that he is the best thing since sliced bread for this country. And he's just never leaving. I think the best thing for this country, if he was locked up, but, you know, his supporters. You know, he's just... It, real men fight for themselves. They don't have other people fight for them. That's the first thing I thought when I saw this. He's in trouble. And I, I heard why he's in trouble my own ears. I heard that call to Raffensperger. He should be standing up for himself, not running to the true social and telling his supporters to call, all come out and put his supporters all in front of him like he did on January 7th, 9th. Why don't I remember that day? I should remember that day. You know, and what's going to happen in 2024? What do you think is going to happen in 2024? So all this time now on Fox News, New York Post, I'll have the links down below. They're not talking about this. No, they're talking about China. You know, oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of evidence that leads to to Hunter Biden getting some money. And we don't know what it's for, but it doesn't look good. You know, and this is what they've been talking about this for six, seven years now. You know, a laptop. They're not even sure. They don't even know if if, if Biden got money. This wasn't even when he was president um, or I don't think or even vice president, you know. He wasn't out paying hookers while he was running for president in 2016. He wasn't trying to overthrow the U.S. government, the U.S. elections, uh, what we've been doing for 200 and what, 70 years? You know, tell me what you think, because this scares the bejesus out of me. I got more content lined up, man. I got to see how yesterday's, the last two days' videos did because I've got more to say about the UFC. And I still got a video of the three biggest mistakes I made on YouTube. And I, I got this content all lined up and ready to go. You guys tell me what you think. Have a good Sunday.